क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इट रीड्स वॉल्स एंड बेस ऑफ एन ओपन टेपोजाइडल टैंक ईच आर ऑफ मास एम सम ऑफ द डायमेंशन ऑफ द टैंक आर शोन इन दिस फिगर सो दिस इज फिगर इट शोज दैट दिस इज एल वन दिस इज एल टू दिस इज एच द टैंक इज प्लेस्ड ऑन अ फ्रिक्शन लेस ऑल जोन टू फ्लोर एंड कंप्लीटली फिल्ड विद वॉटर एट सम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम द फ्रंट एंड द बैक वॉल्स आर रिमूव्ड find acceleration of the tank immediately after removal of the walls density of water is rho and the gravity uh, acceleration is g so uh, how to uh, solve it let's consider this solution before that let's consider this figure first this is a trapezoidal tank that means uh, this open part is uh, upside and the liquid is completely filled on this so the material walls uh, are this vertical wall this front wall this this wall and this back wall and the base and it says uh, each of these walls are of mass m so total mass is going to be like 1 2 3 4 5 5 m initially and water is completely filled on it now once uh, we are opening the two uh, walls one is the front wall this one and the back wall that one so by opening them basically we are removing the 2m mass so remaining mass is going to be 3m and then uh, there will be force acting how the force is going to come in when these walls are removed so for that sake you see let's consider this front wall if this wall is experiencing any force due to the pressure of the liquid then that force is involved in making the whole thing in equilibrium and if that uh, wall is removed then you will find this equilibrium will get imbalanced by the same amount of the force that's what we can say and uh, same thing is going to true for this back wall so and uh, the, the initially force that is acting on this front wall and the back wall they are in opposite direction so once the both the wall, once both the walls are uh, opened then the force imbalance is going to be equal to the difference of the pressure acting on these walls this is the point we are going to use so um we can say uh, just after removal of a wall the liquid will exert a force equal to the force due to the liquid on that wall before removal that that's the point i explained now let's consider if we consider any wall let's say this is a wall and there was a liquid filled and uh, this liquid was exerting force on this wall how much the force liquid exerts on a wall so we know uh, the force is given by uh, integration p d a where p is the pressure at a particular depth down less y depth down i am going so pressure there will be rho g y and d a d a is going to be the length let's say that the length is l and uh, depth is d y so you can integrate it from 0 to h basically we are trying to consider this as a wall but the length is now l so this turn out to be f is equal to rho g l h square by 2 this is the force acting on a wall due to the liquid now this is going to be a force uh, expression and if we are talking about the, this first front wall then this l will become l1 if we are talking about the rear wall then l, l becomes l2 so how much the net force is going to be i just explained the net force is going to be the difference of the two higher value is going to be with l2 so we can write the net force is going to be rho g h square by 2 into l2 minus rho g h square by 2 into l1 so that is the net force that is going to act on this tank just after removal of these two walls which turn out to be rho g h square by 2 in bracket l2 minus l1 now once we got the net force and i just talked about the net mass remaining which is 3m so we can write the newton equation that means force is equal to mass into acceleration or acceleration is equal to net force divided by mass this is the net force which is rho g h square bracket l2 minus l1 by 2 and the mass is 3m so if uh, overall thing turn into rho g h square within bracket l2 minus l1 divided by 6m so this is going to be the acceleration just after both the walls are removed simultaneously and hence we will say that's that's our final answer thank you